quite a famous man in Italy, Sicily, and France. <laughs> Joe was interviewed also uh, over station WOV. That little boy just walked up and started to talk to him. That's the radio station. Now, here we are in Rome. I had lived in Rome during the war as a soldier, and I knew quite a bit of him and decided to show Joe Rome. That's the Victor Emmanuel Arch, dedicated to the freedom of Italy. And uh, it was quite a sight for Joe, having been to Rome for the first time. There's the Fontana di Trevi, the famous three coins in the fountain. You uh, throw a coin in the fountain, you return to Rome. That's the legend. I threw in a buck 85. <laughs> There's a shot of the Vatican City where people from all over the world come to receive the blessings of the Pope. And there they are waiting for the Pope to come out and give his blessings, his holiness. There's his holiness appearing at the window to give his blessings to the people waiting in the square. You know, I'd like to tell you... I'd like to tell you about the greatest experience of my life, an experience that comes to very few people, and I am very grateful that I was one of them. Joe Lombardo, the Brooklyn barber, and I were received in private audience by His Holiness Pope Pius XII. It was a wonderful feeling just to be in the presence of this great man who has devoted his entire life to the restoration of peace for all mankind. In a moment, we'll show you the films of Joe's reunion with his mother. But first, do you like money? Well, here's a fellow to tell you how to win a lot of it. Hi, everybody. I'm Mr. Twister. I'm friendly and I'm funny. And if you can untwist me, you may make a lot of money. In the Mr. Twister contest, you'll find just what to do. On Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes, too. Yes. Whoever outwits Mr. Twister may win $50,000 in this great new all-family contest. Mother, Dad, and the kids can all pitch in to solve an easy word puzzle. It's fun. It's exciting. Enter as often as you like, and you may win a fortune. Look for Mr. Twister entry blanks at your grocery store, or these packages that tell you where to write for them. See if you can beat Mr. Twister and win $50,000. Yes! Me, Kellogg's Mr. Twister, you'll find just what to do on Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes, too. That one week Joe and I spent in Italy was so rich and so full of wonderful experiences that I'll never forget it. Joe and I left Rome and went down to Sicily and, well, follow this map with me. We flew by plane to Palermo and drove by car. We had to hire a car and go through the treacherous mountains of Sicily, through narrow winding passes just wide enough to hold one car or one burro. <laughs> but I know that it was worth every minute of just to be able to be there when Joe saw his mother for the first time in 39 years right here in Raffadelli. I took most of the pictures of the trip on my little revere. Uh, Joe, you haven't seen the films yet either. No, I So I'd like you to come I over like here and stand thing. here with me because I'm going to show them the people. Come right over here, Joe. Right over here. Come over and sit next to me right here. All right? To you, my friends out here, here are the pictures. Now, here is the road leading into Raffadelli. This, this town hasn't changed in over 400 years. This sign says Raffadelli. It's all full of bullet holes left over from the war, and uh, most of the houses are built along the side of the mountain and made of stucco with thatched roofs. This uh, city is quite quaint. Here's the main street, and they have a traffic problem, sheep. <laughs> the car blew up the minute we hit town, everybody gathered around to see who the strangers were. When Joe told them who he was, they realized he was no stranger, and they even asked him to make a speech. And I remember it. There's Joe making a speech. Joe, what are you saying there? Oh, I'm so happy to be back to my people again. <laughs> God bless. I'm so happy. <laughs> we started off now to Joe's mother's home, and people began to follow us as they recognized Joe. Joe, who was that fellow there? Oh, that's my cousin, Joseph Lombardo. Like Joseph myself. Lombardo. Same name. Uh, he's a handsome man. Joe, who's that old man there? Oh, that's my, my father's brother, my uncle Alfonso, 80 years old. 80 years old. Well, we're still on our way to Mom's house, and the crowd is getting bigger and bigger, and people are gathering all around us to begin to recognize Joe. Uh -huh. I never saw a man with so many relatives. <laughs> and the crowd just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Here's the main street on our way to Mom's. And there's the laundry. <laughs> And there's Joe's baby sister. I say baby because she was a baby of four when he left, and now she's a grown woman of 43 with a daughter of her own. Wonderful, just a, a wonderful, touching moment right there. And there's, there's her little daughter. She's uh, 16 years old, and Joe had never seen her. It was quite a reunion, and we were all, we were all crying. <laughs> and the crowds just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The word got around. More and more people gathering. The whole town turned out. The whole province. We're still on our way to Mama's house. 
Even the, the little band turned out. Joe, what are you singing there? You're singing a song, I remember. Fratelli d'Italia, Brothers of Italy. I remember singing that song when I was a little boy. I know every word of it. And here we are, still on our way up to Mama's house. In just a minute, you're going to see Joe's mother. And there's Joe's mother now. She knows he's coming up the street, but she still can't see him. And she's got a smile on her face. Now she sees him and she recognizes him. She's been waiting for this moment for 40 years. I, I was so shaken. I was taking these pictures, and I, got, I just got a little out of focus there. And she kept saying, thank you, God, for sending my son home to me. I remember that. His mother was so happy, she was dancing the tarantella for the first time in 30 years. <laughs> then she noticed me, and she says, who's the Italian boy you brought along? <laughs> Joe explained, he introduced us, and she was flirting with me. Look at her. She made me wish I was 60 years older. <laughs> there's a real good shot of Mama. God bless her. And there's the mayor of the town with Joe. And she told me that seeing Joe again added 10 years to her life. Well, you know what, Joe? So... I'm very happy that I could make the trip with you. It was worth traveling 10,000 miles in three days just for that one moment when your mother saw you for the first time in 39 years. And, Joe, I'd like to give you this film that we just shot here so you can show it to your grandchildren someday. Wonderful. You like that? Well, I appreciate Good. it very much. You know what I've done since? I've had a copy of those films made for my grandchildren. I think they're priceless. Now, let's see Suzanne and Joe trying for the $25,000 grand prize. Now, for the $25,000 Golden Medley Marathon, Johnny Olson, may I have the cards, please? Here you are, George. Thank you. For the fifth and final round of the Golden Medley Marathon, you have 30 seconds to name five songs. Name all five correctly, and you will win the grand prize of $25,000. Remember, you must name every song correctly, or the game is over. For our Golden Medley Marathon tonight, many of our greatest melodies have been inspired by well-known books. We will play a group of compositions which were inspired by these great books. Song number one. The musical setting to Victor Hugo's novel, Angelo, gave us this melody by Poncelli. Name this tune. Do you know the name of that song? Dance of the Hours. Dance of the Hours is right. <laughs> John, number two. The novel, Gone with the Wind, inspired this melody in the score of the motion picture. Name this tune. It has two titles, I'm sorry. Both titles are the one is correct. Tara's theme from a gun to the wind. Tara's theme is right. Or my own two love. Thank you. Song this is one of the great melodies from Gounod's Faust, based on the novel by Goethe. Name this tune. <laughs> Song. The Soldier's Chorus. The Soldier's Chorus is right. <laughs> song number four. Grimm's Fairy Tales inspired this famous melody from the score by Humperdinck. Name this tune. <laughs> that song? Uh, it's Hansel and Gretel, The Children's Prayer. You are right. The Children's Prayer from Hansel and Gretel. Or the Evening Prayer. Only one more song to go. Now, you be very careful. This is song number five. The musical setting to Dumas' novel, Les Dames et Camille, gave us this melody by Verdi for the $25,000. Name this tune. Simply Libre from a Circle, the golden circle, you have won $25,000. You know, the story has had a very happy ending for all of us. Suzanne, instead of getting married in 1960 the way you planned, you're going to get married this September, right? Yes, and George and Joe, I want you to be at the Argyle Methodist Church on September 8th. It'll be a pleasure and honor to be next to you. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. We'll be there. And Joe, you were able to have that reunion with your mother in Italy, and by joining you on the trip, I had the most unforgettable experience of my life, one which I thought would never happen to me, of our private audience with His Holiness, Pope Pius XII. It's enjoyable having you here, and I'm so happy. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.
Joe and Suzanne won $25,000, but I got a million dollars worth of fun out of it. In just a few weeks, Joe and I are going to be making another trip. We're both going out to Wisconsin for Suzanne's wedding. But right now, here's a few choice words from the old philosopher on his favorite subject, aeroshave. Hey there, friend. You say you try to throw away your dirty old shaving brush, but it keeps climbing back up on the sink. Then stand up and shave with Aeroshave, the best of the lather bombs. Man, what comfort, what convenience. Aeroshave contains three beard softeners plus soothing lanolin. Saves you money, too. Three months supply, only 59 cents. Get Aeroshave and live. Well, I think it was real nice meeting our old friends again during the last four weeks. Next week, we'll be back with our regular Name That Tune program. I know that some of you people watching right this minute will be on our show in the coming months, and I'm looking forward to meeting you all. If you want to be a contestant on Name That Tune and share in the $25,000 grand prize, send us a list of your seven favorite songs. Tell us about yourself and enclose a smiling snapshot you can spare as it cannot be returned. Be sure to mark the envelope contestant. Well, it was nice having you with us tonight. We'll see you next week. Good night, and go to sleep, Jay. Tonight, the makers of Anison, with the pain relievers recommended by three out of four doctors for headaches, neuritis, and neuralgia, have brought to you name that tune. Until our highways are as modern as our cars, only self-restraint can cut down the present death toll.